So I'm testing this Texas Instruments ultrasonic sensing evaluation board. A board that can be used to measure the amount of liquid in a container using a piezo uh, sensor, but you can also use it to measure concentration of uh, the fluid that's uh, in the in the container. Each fluid has its own speed of sound value and I'm using plain water now which has a speed of sound of about 1480 I believe uh, meters per second and I'm now going to try what happens if I put some drops of concentrated uh, dishwashing product in there. We see here on the GUI that the Time of flight of my signal at this moment with plain water is 79079 nanoseconds. I'm now going to apply uh, this liquid to the container a few drops and we'll see what's happening here with that uh, time of flight value. So here we see the time of flight of our signal. It's 79,000 now. I'm going to try to put one drop of uh, the concentrated thing in there. I did that. And that doesn't really change it. I'm going to add another drip. One moment. Yes. So we see now that the concentration has changed. I'm going to add yet another drip to see if something uh, alters. And indeed the, uh, the, the time of flight of our signal and the speed of sound of our liquid is changing. I'm using a concentrated product here. So that means that it hasn't mixed with the water properly yet, but I believe that as soon as the whole thing has mixed up, that the speed of sound is going to increase and the time of flight is going to decrease further. So let's try and mix it with my hands and then uh, remove my finger. Let's see. Yeah, we've gone, we've gone significantly down here. So we can detect if our uh, liquid has changed and if there is an other concentration in the container. I've tested it with plain water and I've also tested it with this concentrated dishwashing product. I had to mix it a little bit with my finger uh, to get a, a good reading, but in the end I could see a difference between that plain water and the water that is mixed with that liquid. And for the road test that I'm doing on element 14, I have completed all my exercises except one. So I have not been able at this moment to use the Webbench ultrasonic uh, evaluation kit uh, selector. This is a kit where you can set your parameters and then generate a, a registration file. That registration file has to be downloaded into the GUI of the evaluation kit and you should be able to measure, uh, to make measurements according to the settings you did on the, on the WebEngine tool. But what happens uh, in my case is that whatever I put here, uh, I never get a valid registration file. I have created an entry in Texas Instruments E2E forum uh, to get the resolution and I get support from the application specialists but we haven't been able to recreate a working cycle of generating a file either for level detection or fluid concentration uh, with the WebEngine tool, import it into the GUI and get valid samples. I'll keep you posted on how this works out.